morning, Spirit Point Middle School. Today is Wednesday, December 14th, and it is the A Day. My name is Noah. My name is Hope. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. The weather today is 40 degrees and sunny. Now a message for Mr. Rizzi. Good morning, Sparrow Point Middle School. Just a couple quick announcements. First announcement, if you're a part of the Quiz Bowl team, after announcements, please come to my room so I can give you permission slip since we're going to Stemmers Run Middle School on Friday. Announcement number two, dress code for the math clash. I'm having a lot of annoying eighth grade girls ask me questions. They're all trying to bend the rules, and the rules are the same for everybody. Do not spray paint your hair any color whatsoever. Do not put beads, multiple beads, on your face. Not above your eyes, not in your eyebrows, not on your forehead, not on your cheekbones. Put nothing on your face. They're trying to beat me down and say, oh, Mr. Rizzi, please let us wear some patches right here. I think I can handle that, but that's it, nothing else. Do not draw all over your arms. Do not draw on your forehead. Every teacher in this building has been trained in what to look for. If you do not follow these very simple rules, an administrator will come find you, will take you to the bathroom, will make you scrub your face and your arms and any other piece of skin that you've decided to, to graffiti on. And if we can't get it off because you were dumb enough to use a permanent magic marker or a Sharpie or something like that, you're going to sit in the office while everybody goes downstairs. If you have any questions about the dress code, please see me. I'm in room 222. Except for the sixth grade, do not come see me ever. Thank you. Today's lunch, stuffed crust pizza, cheese or pepperoni, chicken patty sandwich, regular or spicy, chicken nacho ariana grande, <laughs> southwest salad with chicken and tostitos rounds, groovy green beans, seasoned potato wedges, and pears. December 21st is ugly holiday sweater. Where are your tackiest? Sad Club will meet this Thursday for lunch bunch meetings. A lunch, Miss White Leather's room, B lunch, Miss Strong's room. This is the last week we'll be collecting our mitten tree. For our mitten tree. Please bring in gloves, mittens, hats, and scarves this week and place them on the mitten tree in the office. All donations will be delivered to a community shelter on Monday. Would you like to earn service learning hours? Are you creative or organized? Are you free on Friday afternoons? Then you should join the Lit Club. Friday afternoons in the library until 3.30. Running Club was canceled today. If students want to attend the concert, you must come with a parent or adult, and that adult must stay with you the entire time. Also, if you are attending the concert, to please secure your ride ahead of time. The first basketball game is closed to students due to a lack of space in the middle school gym. Book club is next Wednesday the 21st. We are doing a white elephant gift exchange. If you don't know what that is, see Miss Farrell and or Miss Wedmore. Hey kids, Math Homework Helpers is back live Wednesdays, 6.30 to 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. on BCPS TV. Join the fun and give us a call. If you need help with your math homework, we are here to help you. We have fantastic teachers and a crazy puppet ready to help you. Every caller will win a prize and have the opportunity to spin the wheel for a bonus prize. Don't forget, if you need help with your homework, call in, spin, and win. Get a pencil ready at 4.30 today. Tune in to BCPS TV and give us a call. Comcast Channel 73 of Verizon, Verizon Channel 34. Every Wednesday, the phone number to call is 410-494-1459. That's 410-494-1459. This is the only number that will get you through the show, through to the show. Drama Club will meet today in room 218. All members are asked to attend. Bring your scripts. And now for the word of the week. We've learned that the word of the week begins with the letter T and means either the front of the building or the front of a person. Put, 
put up so no one can know the real them. Today's clue. Look, look on the yeah, look for the word on the on the facade of the front office. Find the word on beyond the word wall poster and then put find Principal Washington or Miss Bonding during the change classes. Use the word in the sentence that shows you know the meaning and get a prize. Now a message from Miss Ryan. Good morning, Sparrows Point. How is everyone on this wacky Wednesday? I have a couple different announcements today. The first announcement is for my yearbook crew. All my yearbook staff, please stop and see me uh, over the course of the next couple of days so we can touch base on your status of your pages and we can determine if we need to stay after school on Friday or not. So right now, Friday's after school meeting is a tentative meeting. I will be here um, because I have lots of work to work on that yearbook, uh, but I want to know your status. If you don't need to meet, there's no reason for you. The second announcement is concerning our basketball program. The Sparrows Point basketball program's tip-off will begin tomorrow, uh, Thursday, here at Sparrows Point Middle School. Unfortunately, students, you are not welcome to attend tomorrow's game because the game tomorrow is in the middle school gym. Tomorrow's game is open for parents and siblings of players only. So again, tomorrow's game, students are not asked to attend that game. We have very limited seating. The game is in the middle school gym. However, on Tuesday, Tuesday, the pointers will be in the high school gym and all students are welcome to attend. The games are at four and five o'clock. I will have the specific times for you tomorrow. Uh, students, it costs you $2 to get into the game and we will also have some concessions being sold at the game as well. Now, if you plan on attending the game on Tuesday, two things have to happen. Either number one, you go home at the end of the school day and then you come back at four o'clock for the game or five o'clock for the game. Or if you're planning on staying after school, you need to be with a teacher. If you don't already have an after school club, I will let you know on Monday the teacher who was in charge of you and the room that you need to report to. And you will stay in that room with that teacher, take care of your homework, do what you do. We just don't want students walking the halls. If you're walking the halls, you will be asked to go home. And if you're walking the halls and not following directions, then you will not be accepted into the game. All right, so again, Tuesday, students are invited to come out and root on the, the uh, pointers. $2 admission. And please stay tuned to announcements the next couple of days for further information. Thank you. Ignorance does not say, I don't know. Ignorance is saying, I don't want to know. Unknown. Thanks for watching. I'm Noah. And I'm Hope. Remember to have fun in all that you do.